I've been going through a lot of your videos and you started and I came up with some awesome stuff that we're going to use to bring the most out of the meat. One of my favourite things is about meat is using things that people don't necessarily like to buy. For instance, you've got a beautiful hanger steak. This comes with inside the carcass of the beef. There's only one per carcass. It's a beautiful steak, it's relatively cheap as well. And once you clean it off with all of this gnarly bits, you've got a lovely tasty steak. And what I'm going to ask you to do is help me to prepare a chimichurro marinade. Did the like Happy days. And what we'll do, we've got some rapeseed oil, we're going to use the red wine vinegar, we're going to use um, parsley, coriander, these badges, some chilli, hell of a lot of garlic, put some bay leaf in as well, I like that, salt and pepper. What I need you to do, if that's okay, <laughs> and then just chop up finely, I think. Yeah, go yeah. for all of that, all de seeded. Hanger steaks are really, it's quite fashionable actually at the moment. Um, it's difficult because it's only one per carcass, so I don't really have too much of it. Unless is it, it, what's the price of it, Johnny? Is it the cheapest cut? Or is it one of these cheap cuts that we should all know about? But it aren't? is. Well, so I charge um, £11 per kilo. Um, it's, as I say, it's a really, really tasty, uh, tasty steak. It looks, you can see, it looks similar to um, skirt. Quite yeah. a lot of people have had yeah. skirt before. I've got some behind you. Yeah. Looks similar to that. You've got a big sinew down the middle of it, which I'll take out. You don't want to have that, but. And do you think that in, I mean, in terms of the science of marinating, there's a sort of element. It's about flavour and it's about tenderising. Yeah. And do you? There's a sort of. You know, depending on the cut of meat is you need to be more acid based to tenderise it and then if it's a more delicate cut of meat you use, uh, you use less, less acid to actually to do that job you don't need to do that. 100% yeah so basically this one it's quite a loose muscle as well it doesn't need that much vinegar to break it down the vinegar obviously helps break down the proteins inside of it so you don't need too much vinegar and um, it helps it, with this one it helps with the flavour and it brings it in so I, I would marinate this for two days Right, okay. You've got the time. Yeah, yeah. Not many people have the time these days, so overnight. And temperature? Temperature, I keep it in the fridge. Yeah, yeah. keep it in the fridge. So how about you then? Were you, was it was it vinegar first? Or uh, well, I, the thing is, I mean, my great, 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 great grandfather started making cider at Aspel in 1728. That's so cool. But he'd been making it in Jersey for probably two or three generations before. I didn't know that. Yeah, and they, so yeah, he was a Jerseyman. That's where the Chevalier name comes from. Oh. Uh, um, Normally, right there. And the thing with when you make cider, you always make vinegar. Yeah, you always. So it's just a byproduct. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And it's really only been for us in the last forty years. My father pioneered it, uh, making it on purpose. So you've got the difference here. You've got organic cider yep. vinegar and then red wine vinegar. Yeah, yeah. So red organic cider vinegar. I mean, you know. Apples aren't the fruit of England, I mean there's a lot of people making wine in the UK these days, yeah. but um, we're not really far enough off. The best wine in the UK is sparkling wine, and that's because the, the grapes don't ripen as readily as they do in the southern climes. Uh, and that makes great sparkling wine. Okay. Uh, whereas if you want to actually get the really, really rangy, fruity character of the wines and the wine vinegar, you actually need to go further afield. So this red wine vinegar, we actually, as a family, the Munoz family in the Bonio, so the Rioja region, and we buy the raw red wine vinegar from them, we bring it in, and then we process it, and we refine it, and uh, and it away. So nice. It's a great vinegar, it's a really, really lovely vinegar. It's mainly, mainly temporarily lovely. I use it on yeah. everything at yeah. home. And do you have, so in terms of this one, have you got a sort of basic measure? So then we all go to our recipe books and go, read it down exactly. But I always go by ratios. I go through so this one of that, and uh, how, how do you normally work it? By look. Uh, by look and by smell, basically. But um, I've written it down um, on the recipe, so we will be putting that through as well. Happy days, the chimichurri, pretty much done. Uh, we've got to add a bit of salt and pepper. It's a little bit thicker, um, because I threw in the pasta whilst you were doing a fine job with a curry expert, John. <laughs> but um, it's quite nice. I like it quite nice and big. Um, again, this is for, which is my experience coming, this is for catering, yeah. so it's massive. Yeah. At home, you don't need anywhere near as much as this. We're going to go in a good pinch of salt, a good pinch of pepper. There's a thing in terms of like seasoning, 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 that's always taste, isn't it? That's probably, you can't really taste it. So that's the thing, would you? Uh, I, I, I tend to do. Uh, you can do, just put a little bit on your hand there and taste. It's quite nice. But again, like you're going to get the saltiness through and marinade. It, 
does help. It depends on the, what marinade you're going to have. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, beautiful. So, in with the hanger steak. Again, so all I've done is I've cleaned it up. You had the sinew going through, and this is one from one of ours. Um, on Would you do with anything with what's left over? So yes, that's the thing. So I've got a big bucket here just for putting it in. That's going to go into the kitchen. Yeah. They're going to roast it down, and then that will come into stuff. Mm -hmm.